tonight's thought has to do with religion and how following Jesus is different than religion. All the main religions of the world and all of their offshoots, including some forms of Christianity, seek to find peace with God and obtain heaven through doing something. Man and woman doing something for God in order to appease his wrath and to gain salvation. As a follower of Jesus in relationship with him, as someone who has accepted the gospel message as truth and who seeks to do right by God and his fellow man, um, we know that anything that we can do, even our best that we can do for God, is filthy rags. Uh, it's no good because we're tainted with sin. Uh, we mess up all the time. Our hearts are deceitful and wicked. And to try to get to God by doing something on our own is impossible. And that's why you'll see um, in the Old Testament times, they had to present a sacrifice for atonement for their sin every time they sinned, they would have to present a new sacrifice. And as a believer in Christ and as a follower of Jesus, we understand that he paid our ultimate price. He was the ultimate sacrifice. Um, so that all of the things that we have done wrong, all of the, the wickedness in our heart, that that bent in nature that wants to serve ourselves uh, it's all paid for by christ on the cross and we no longer have to present an offering at a temple of an animal and we understand that presenting offerings to god doing um, good works actions services um, performing religious duties, the sacraments, those sorts of things, they are good to do, and there's nothing wrong with them, but they will never, never equal salvation. So, religions seek to obtain heaven and peace with God through man's action by man appeasing God. Followers of Jesus understand that that is an impossible feat. And we put our trust in Christ who did that for us. He was perfect. There was no wickedness in him. And so he was able to make that sacrifice on our behalf so that if we put our faith in him, he then is our representative he acts as our, in our place. And so now when the Father looks at us, he no longer sees our deceitful hearts, but he sees the righteousness of Jesus if we have been born again. So that's my thought for tonight. Just the difference between following Jesus and religion. Uh, if you want to leave some comments below, uh, whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, feel free. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions you have or just to chat. I uh, hope you all have a good night and we'll talk to you later.